So um, let's put that in your backpack. That's not doing any good right there. So um, the next thing that we're going to be going over here is in this case, I have negative 2x minus 4y equals 2 and 10x plus 20y equals negative 10. Now in this case, I don't have a variable that has a coefficient of 1, right? I can still do substitution if I want to, but I have to solve for a variable. I don't prefer to solve them for variables unless I have a coefficient of 1 or 2, or 1 or negative 1. So my preferred method would be, the preferred method I look into is called elimination. And basically for elimination, what we're doing is adding or subtracting our equations to get a coefficient of 0. So let's just kind of do this in our head. If I was to add these two equations, would negative 2x plus 10x give me 0? 0 0x? No. Would negative 4y plus 20y give me 0x or 0y? No. So then let's look at subtracting our two. Would negative 2x minus 10x give me 0x? No. Would negative 4y minus 20y give me 0y? No. So the, I, the trick when doing elimination is first to have your equations with your variables aligned. Do you guys see how the x is over the x, the y is over the y? Sometimes you're going to have equations that they're not aligned. So you're going to want to rewrite them. Okay, so make sure your variables are first aligned. Second, we got to have the coefficients have the same, or we got to have each e variable have the same coefficients. Because think about it this way 5x minus 5x, right, is 0x. Or you could say 5x plus negative 5x is 0x. Do you guys see? So we got to have the coefficients to be the same. If we're going to add or subtract them, the coefficients have to be, the absolute value of them has to be the same. Nick, have you already done this? OK. So, so now what we're going to be looking on, um, I guess I could have just given you your work so you could have done those, because you already did this. I'll, I'll share, I remember myself next time. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we got to see, all right, well, what would be a common number um, do 4 and y share a number? Do they both divide into a common number? Do 10 and negative 2 do both divide into a common number? Yeah. yeah. So what would be like the smallest number, though, or which variable would you like to choose to work with? I'll go with Chris. Which variable would you like to choose for? To eliminate. X. So what is the smallest number that negative 2 and 10 both divide into? 10 doesn't divide into 2. What is the smallest number they both divide into? Let's list the multiples. Negative 2. Well, let's just do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 10, 20, 30, 40. What is the smallest number that 2 and 10 divide into? What is the smallest number they share as their multiples? 10. That's the smallest number that both 2 divides into and 10 divides into. Make sense? OK. So this is already at 10, so I don't need to multiply by a multiplier. But what do I need to multiply negative 2 by to make it at, um, at least in 10? 5. So you multiply by a multiplier 5. Make sure you multiply everything by 5. So by multiplying it, I now am going to have So I multiplied it by 5, so now they're the same. Okay, Because now, what I want is to add them together. And when I add them together, I eliminate this. But uh-oh, I actually also eliminate the y's. And actually, I also eliminate the 10's. So I have 0 equals 0.